I just gonna re-record that because I forgot some stuff. I need one of them things that tells me what to say. What's up, sons? It's Blackrod with Sava Tech once again, and I got one. I got an RX 6900 XT. I'm super excited to share it with you guys, especially the Ethereum hash rate, what's going on with that. And then later, I am gonna be putting this up head to head to the 3090 in some video games. So stay tuned for that if you're interested because I'm interested in that. I'm very interested in that. Before we hop into it, I don't have sponsors, but what I use are affiliate links. So down in the description below, you'll find a, an affiliate link for YubiKeys. They are multi-factor authentication devices, hardware driven. So the benefit to that is going to essentially be that you are not using an app that's loaded onto your computer or cell phone, and you will need physical access to that device to access your multi-factor authenticated accounts. This is very important for things like cryptocurrency, bank accounts, anything financial. Highly recommend it. Definitely check it out. Buy two, because you always want a backup. Buy three if you want an additional backup. Use the affiliate link and let me know what you guys think about them. All right, so the RX 6900 XT we got is the Nitro Plus Edition from Sapphire. So it is a third-party cooler design and we get higher clocks out of it, so on and so forth. Let's go over the details. The boost clock is up to 2,285 megahertz with the game clock going up to 2050 megahertz. It has 5,120 stream processors with 128 megabytes of infinity cache that nobody has figured out how to use mining wise yet. But if it comes, it comes, we'll have to find out. It does have 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 with a memory clock of 16 gigabits per second and that is all communicating over PCIe 4.0 which does mean yes it also supports the coolness that is all the new AMD supported features such as of course smart access memory if you're using a 5000 series Ryzen CPU however I also haven't seen any mining improvements based on that as well. So now we have a single HDMI and three display port outs. It is a 2.7 slot card, making it a little bit iffy for mining rigs. Closer to two is always better, two slots for mining rigs, but you know, it is what it is. It doesn't matter if you're building a custom frame, but it does matter if you're putting it into, you know, a standard frame that's built for two slot cards. The dimensions are 310 millimeters long, 134.3 millimeters wide, and 55.3 millimeters high, with a power consumption of 340 watts over two eight pin PCIe power connectors. So it is under the 3090 as far as power consumption goes, but it is a still a pretty beefy card when it comes to power requirements, which we will now talk about. Over here, da -da -da -da, we have it hashing away at 64 mega hash a second. And these are the settings to achieve that. Everything is basically super similar to the 6800. The last card we need for testing is the 6800 XT. And all of this may change when miners are built for these GPUs. It's super frustrating, but you know, there, there haven't been miners built for these GPUs yet. There's still no BIOS modding available yet. There's a lot of potential that I feel is un unlockable in these cards, and we're just going to have to give it some time. That's why I still want one of each card so we can figure out which one's going to be the best once uh, the community starts figuring out how to unlock this, which I am working on. We have gotten the power consumption down on the 6800 if you guys want to check that video out using, of course, the power play tables. But... For the 6900 XT, this is where we're at without power play tables. We will be following it up because I'm pretty sure we can get this basically matching the 6800 XT as far as undervolting goes. So the lowest you can turn the voltage down to on the 6900 XT is 800 millivolts, but the frequency, the 1150, Below that, on all of the 6,000 cards that I've tested, it starts dropping hash rates. So 1150 megahertz is where you're gonna lock in there. And then that's gonna take that voltage and just dump it down for you to 800 millivolts. And the slider's not gonna let you go below that without modding 
of course, the power play tables, which we will be doing, like I mentioned, but those are the settings. We have the fan speed turned on, and then we are using fast timing on the memory, and we are able to take that memory slider up to 2150 megahertz. This is where things get exciting. It goes to 2150 megahertz, no problem on the memory. So we're gonna modify the power play tables as well to allow us to overclock the memory even more. And we'll see if we can squeeze out some more hash rate that way. Now the power consumption reading in the rig, of course here you can see is 155 watts. And then that's pretty accurate. It's not perfect. So right here, it's weird because AMD for a while was under reporting in their software and now they seem to be over reporting hold on i can't even bring that up all right so now they seem to be over reporting which is interesting but as you can see here i'll get this up here so that's 260 to 270 watts and then if we kill the miner boom killing it right now you should see it drop to 120 to 130 watts right so we'll do 260 minus 120 and we're at 140 watts with 64 mega hash a second. And as always, let's talk about hash per watt. So for Ethereum, the 6900 XT really comes in a little bit lower than you would like, but not as bad as you would expect. So with just overclocking, it comes in right at about the hash per watt of a 3060 Ti, which is surprising, of course, Duh, the 3060 Ti is gonna ROI way faster because these cards are like 1400 now retail. So, you know, don't even don't even let it phase you. But we I think we can get a little bit more out of it. It's definitely not a card you would really want to mine on, but there is possibly some unlocked performance in there. So the hash per watt is 0.45 mega hash per second per watt, right? And like I said, that's not as bad as I was expecting it to be. It's definitely not as bad as like the 3090 or the 3080. It's a little bit better than those hash per watt wise. Of course, the 3080, you want to keep in, keep in mind. So we have to discuss like density and a lot of other things when we start talking about all of this, like clearly like taking a bunch of 30 or 60, 900 XTs versus just getting a whole bunch of 3080s. I would go with the 3080s personally because your density is going to be better. Those are getting about 100 mega hash a second at around 280 watts, somewhere around there. Um, the 3090 obviously avoid for mining too because of the price too high. But as far as like order, we're going to be putting together a video now that we have pretty much every graphics card available outside of the 6800 XT, which I'm pretty sure is going to be exactly the same as the rest of these cards to be frank with you because it seems to be exactly the same as the 6800 uh, as far as the 6900 xt goes so i think i'm ready to do my overall best gpus for mining video and we'll be covering that so look for that on the channel coming up here shortly but for now these are the comparisons this is what we have there's a lot of other factors that we're going to discuss when we go into it and i hope that it was helpful make sure you leave a like comment subscribe down below and i will see you next tuesday